How to Grow Moss Mosses are plants that develop from spores rather than seeds. They thrive naturally in most temperate areas around the world. Though they develop in moist soil, mosses can grow on any hard surface and are often seen on tree bark, rocks, and other solid areas. As a result, mosses are ideal for adding a luscious green look to any garden or to use as a ground cover substitute for grass. Part 1 – Getting Your Moss 1. Choose a type of moss Moss is a wonderfully diverse plant, with dozens of variations of the traditional pillow, soft green roughage. There are two general types of moss though, Pleurocarpus and Acrocarpus. Pleurocarpus type moss grows low to the ground and spreads out horizontally very quickly. Acrocarpus type moss grows primarily in clumps and grows in height, thickness before spreading outwards. No mosses are flowering. At times, they will produce small stalks with enlarged tips containing spores for reproduction. These are the sporangia. If you're covering a large space, such as your entire lawn, with moss, consider using a mixture of both pleurocarpus and acrocarpus moss. 2. Pick out your moss from a nursery. If you want to get some professional advice on the best type of moss for your garden, or if you just would like the ability to view a wide variety of plants, head to your local nursery to get your moss starters. Different types of moss are compatible with each other, so don't be afraid to mix and match the plants. If you want the convenience of a large selection of mosses, but aren't near a nursery, there are plenty of mosses available for mail, order on the internet. Check the growth rate for the moss you choose on the plant tag. Some mosses grow at an incredibly fast rate of growth, so you may not need to purchase as much of some species as others. 3. Get a moss starter from another garden or the woods. If you're not too picky about the type of moss you want to grow or are a bit more frugal, try getting your moss from the wild. Simply use a spade to dig a patch out of the ground or off the trunk of a tree. Try to pick up a bit of the matter soil it is growing out of when you grab it, to help keep it alive and make transplanting easier. Part 2 – Planting Your Moss in a Garden Lawn 1. Select an Ideal Plot Moss isn't too terribly finicky, but there are some ideal conditions under which it can be planted. Moss prefers moisture and indirect, slightly shaded, sunlight. It is great for using as ground cover underneath taller growing trees and plants. If your only available location happens to be sunlight, heavy, don't fret too much, your moss should still be able to grow well enough. Moss is great for irrigating out areas of your yard that tend to flood in heavy rains. Plant it instead of grass to help endorse drainage in the soil. Moss doesn't have a root system, so it can grow easily over rocky soil that grass wouldn't otherwise be able to cover. 2. Prepare the planting location If you're planting in soil, test the soil pH and make changes if necessary. Moss prefers acidic soil with a pH between 5 and 5.5. Anywhere else you plan to plant moss should be cleared of any other plants and weeds. If you're planting in soil or over a flat surface, make sure the surface is smoothed and totally flat. Unlike grass, moss will show small divots and holes in the ground or area it is planted.